We're heading to church today. We're heading to church today. Hey guys, it's Meg Sword. Welcome back to episode 22 of the Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. Alright, so Mega Man is walking into a church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyways, we're at the gallery and it says, My sister, my twin sister works at the secretary of the guild headmaster. She's actually the twin sister of the lady that we had to get our class S and class A license. Alright, so this is the priest. He's like, thank you, thank you. And he's like, the last key you're looking for lies in here. Go with caution, my son. Like, would you like a blessing? I would ask for a donation, of course. Oh my god. When did blessings start cost money? Anyways, let's get a blessing for 100 zennies. He's like, may God protect you. May God watch over you. And your heart is thingy, thingy, blah, blah, blah. He says, what do you want to know? All of these are actually pretty good information for storyline. But we don't have time for that. I'll probably do that in... Uh, in a future episode, maybe when I finish the storyline, we'll go through the like tiny little hints and tips. Anyways, one more key left. This place looks pretty cold. Good luck. Damn, man, I forgot to bring my coat or my jacket or my sweater. Anyways, um, ooh, we found eight thousand zenny right there. As you can see, I'm sliding on the glass. Why? Looks because like there's a place where the floor is weaker around there. Try shooting it with your buster. I will do that. I'll shoot it with my damn homing missile. As I was explaining, um, there is ice during this whole freaking ruin. So as you can see, it makes Mega Man kind of slide all around. I mean, if I try to skate, that would be a little bit troublesome. So I mean, that's why we got our freaking shoes. So let's equip them. As you can see. In the last episode, we got the cleated shoes. Now, what do they do? Let's read it. It allows Mega Man to walk on icy surfaces. So, with these equipsy, I don't slide anymore. It's awesome. Oh my god, I forgot that these things freaking respawn. Anyways, there's some bosses here, and similar to the ones that we found in Pockety Island or Village, um, these instead of spitting up fire, these will spit out ice. And if you touch it, it would actually hinder your movement and cause a lot of damage. Kind of like the lava, it'll turn you blue instead of red. So hopefully we don't get touched by that. Anyways, besides the third key ruin, this is actually probably my second favorite one. And of course, Be careful, Mega the water Man. one it is looks my like favorite. The weak in that area. Now she's talking about the little red panels. If you stand on them too long, um, they will actually break and you will fall. You have to wait until they come back. In this chest we find laser manual. Oh my god. These little suckers. Now, they look like regular reaper bots that we have encountered before. But if you touch these, um, they will actually freeze you. And do that little cold effect. So let's try to avoid that if we can. Alright, picking up some money. And heading out the door. Alright, so if memory recalls... I'm gonna have to go all the way up here. I mean, it's been a while. It's been a few years since I played this game, but uh, you know, it's like riding a bike. You don't forget some things. Just find them. Anyway, let's let's go through this door, and there's a freaking red triangle pyramid in the center of the map. Now, this is a console. It says, "Release the red barrier." Yes, unable to release. We need a red barrier key. So I'm assuming. That this panel is gonna release a blue barrier and of course we also need a key so we have to find these keys so we can release these barriers so it's definitely not in this area oh, oh my god there's some bad guys down there oh it's like mammoth um we see a door over here so let's crack this and go down here oh my god i almost stepped on top of the freaking mammoth all right so there's another panel uh download item item data download so with this panel that we have downloaded we should be able to see chests that contain items inside in our map it would be a yellow glowing thing anyway let's move on to the next oh i can hear oh my god i can hear them let's get in here before they freaking attack us all right so let's see is there anything to the right no to the right it was a dead end never mind uh here we go all right more bad guys and drop in my money. Money! Oh, I see a little yellow. You guys see it? It's on the radar. It's at the bottom right of our map. Look, it's a dead end. It's a dead end. Oh, bro, you're so smart. 
Anyways, let's take care of these guys and let's see what she's talking about. About something about a weak ceiling or shooting the ceiling down. Alright, so I actually have my controllers inverted. So it, sometimes I, I freaking forget which way is up and which one is down. Oh my god, I can't get up there. No, it's gonna lock up. Aw. There we go. Up we go. Alright, let's get let's destroy these things. Watch your step, Mega Man. It looks like the floor is weak. The floor is weak. But so is this commentary. Oh so it looks like there's an opening you can use to get down to the floor underneath you. Except it's covered by some kind of energy barrier. Maybe you can deactivate that one the barrier with a control panel. T roll, I'm like one step ahead of you. I already explained about the damn barrier. Alright, so we found the blue barrier key, so we're gonna have to go back to the blue barrier panel so we can deactivate it. Now let's fall down here just for funsies. So you guys can see what's down here. So when we fall, how would we get back up? They actually have a little entrance that we can use. And we used it. Why? So we can get that chest that has some treasure in it. You found 30,000 zenny. Very nice. I like collecting money. You know me. Because I'm so poor in this game. Alright, so we got a mammoth. As you can see, they are not a challenge. What was it? When we were in Forbidden Island that we encountered that Reaverbot, the mammoth. Um, it took a lot of bullets to kill him, but not anymore. Freaking homing missile is too OP. And we got some more bad guys. Now, if you guys can see, there's a little red ballerina. She likes collecting crystals. Oh my goodness. She, she will fight to the death to pick up the zenny so usually most of the time I just let her pick her up why because I don't want to get damaged now I can't actually shoot the little ballerina with my buster it just deflects off of her oh look at him look at him fighting over for that damn zenny oh my god they're like piranhas no 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 anyways as I was saying now in order to kill him usually you would have to use a homing missile or some type of special weapon to get him down all right so we're back up here to the freaking console and we're gonna deactivate the blue barrier. All right, there. This one's the red. This one's the blue. And here we go. As you can see, the blue barrier has been deactivated. So now we're gonna have to go all the way back down there. Oh, so much that thing. So it's like a maze, you know. The ruins they make a belt into the maze, so you have to keep going back and forward to the, almost the same repeating areas. Oh my God, I'm gonna get hit in our, our night. No, get in there. Ah, oh, no, I didn't want to get hit. Jesus. Anyways, let's skip that and let's keep going to where we're supposed to go. Now, for a future, I guess for a hint, I guess, uh, the boss in this one, I actually kind of like. It, it actually takes you by surprise. Very cool, freaking ruin. I really like it. I mean, it's very different from the freaking lava one that we got. I mean, that one was freaking hot. And, of course, we got to see Troll. Troll. <laughs> troll. We got to see Tron. Um... Lose a little bit of clothing, lose her battle, and we got freaking Bond, the little Babu guy. He also got freaking taken the hell out. Anyway, let's get rid of these. Get our ammo, get our freaking special ability up. Alright, so let's get going. Alright, so you're probably wondering why? Why am I going around the room but there is definitely nothing? I just do that for, um, for the map. So whenever I, I use my map, I can tell that I've been in that area. So I usually highlight it, highlight the whole room around. See? It, it's just a little helpful thing that I do. So no worries. I know it might annoy some of you, but I gotta do it, you guys. I gotta. It's habit. Alright, so we encounter some, this freaking electricity guy. Of course, we don't want to get close to him. He's gonna shock us. We ain't nobody got time for that. So let's keep going. Oh, now if you can, you can kill this little one. He will actually give you some money, but he's actually pretty fast, so he'll disappear if you don't. The floor there time. looks weak. Be careful. Thank you, Captain. Obvious rule. So we're gonna, if you can see down there, they're actually uh, bad guys down there. Uh, so let's try not to fall for now. We'll get them eventually. Let's just get rid of these. And there's the floor. Go down. I can hear freaking, I can hear them just like blasting stuff. It sounds like they're throwing bubbles. Oh my god! That freaking scared me. <laughs> I should have looked at my radar or at my map, you guys. It would have told me that that's not a real freaking treasure. Alright, so let's kill these. Why? Because we need freaking zennies. And that'd be that. 
so much time to get all this delicious. It looks like there's a way to get up to the next level then. Roll, don't you start with me. She saw me going from that area down to the bottom and she like, there's an area to get back up. Mm, no duh, just go back where I came from. Anyways, we got squiddies. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen freaking squiddies. Anyways, we're gonna kill them to get the money. Now, hopefully, my plan for this gameplay um, is that eventually by the end of the, whenever we see the boss, the main boss, the final boss, um, I would have my freaking homing Look missile the ceiling. almost be maxed able to out. Shoot through it and make an opening. I might not have enough money to upgrade every single one because they're all worth almost a million. But we might upgrade one or two more stats. Maybe just one. Because we actually want to buy um, a new helmet, I think. There should be a door in that room that leads to the next area. Yes, wrong. If you can't see it, it must be above you somewhere. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can Looks like there's a barrier I cut it there. Off. Ha -ha. You can probably shut that one off if you find the right control panel. Thank you, Roll. As I was saying, um, there's actually another helmet. Oh my God! Oh Lord, have mercy! There's actually another helmet um, that one of the vendor sells. It's called the padded helmet. Uh, it helps reduce more damage. So we want to buy that. I think it costs like ten thousand. It's not that much. And. As the game progresses, the vendors actually start selling better stuff for your buster. I mean, they start selling like attack plus four, attack plus uh, four plus like range plus four and stuff like that. They're called like omegas or something like something similar. And uh, but yeah, we're saving our money for those. And there's actually in the future, they're actually gonna sell. Hey, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. Um, they actually sell freaking a chest piece that helps reduce a lot of the damage that you might take, which is exactly what we need. Oh my god, look at all this money! This is delicious! Oh my goodness, give me more, please! Oh my god, squiddies. Where are you, squiddies? Why, why must you be so slimy? Squiddies, I don't like I don't know, you guys, I don't like seafood. I don't know, most of it's like slimy and I don't know. Maybe the places where I've ever gotten seafood from, it was just maybe not that good. Looks like there's multiple levels here. I'm picking up Reverbot signals from above you. Be careful. And she is correct. Freaking Reverbots are at the top and at the bottom. We just gotta make sure that that freaking ballerina from the top doesn't drop down here. I think it's a ballerina. Was it a ballerina? I couldn't tell. Hold on. Let me look. Yeah, but it's a ballerina. We're gonna wait until it drops. There we go. Oh my god, hurry! Hurry! Oh my god! No, hurry! I don't want it to. I don't want it to touch me. Back away, ballerina, back away. Alright, so we're just gonna continue on over here. Oh my god. The amount of bosses or reaver bots that you. Oh my god, no! Sparky! Sparky, no! Look how much damage that did. That freaking took me down to one fourth of my health. Oh my goodness. But hey, at least the reward we got was a lot of money, so I'm okay with that. Anyways, moving along, we should be close to where we need to be. But not quite yet. Oh, as I was gonna say, um, th there's a lot more reaver bots when we get towards the end of the game. Um, like, they just went, the, I guess the developers went crazy. They're like, okay, you want more bosses here? And then they put a bunch of reaver bots everywhere, and it's annoying as heck. I think it might take like 40 minutes and whenever we get to that part um i'm probably gonna cut it cut it down to size why because it'll be boring just seeing me kill the same uh reaper bot enemies over and over but i'll show you guys good stuff so no worries about that all right so we made it to where we needed to be over here ballerina and oh my God, see see what i mean didn't we just defeat a squiddy and there's another one over here i'm telling you they just said, you want difficulty? Bap! And then they put, they dumped a bunch of enemies. Alright, so I don't want to get hit by that. So, I'm going to let her have most of the money. Take it all, you thief! Alright, we got through the door, and here is a freaking chest. You got the red barrier key. Alright, so the red barrier key, it's, it's kind of interesting. It allows us to get one chest, or one treasure chest. Um, that we can't get unless you get it, right? 
Uh, but we'll do that once we complete the freaking fourth key ruin and we defeat the boss. We'll come back and then I'll show you what it is. Why? Because I don't want to go all the way back to the top level. Just so I can show you where it drops. Because, I mean, we're already over here and we're close. Just kind of close to the boss. So we'll do that eventually. Anyways, let me just highlight this area so I know where we are in our map. And let's go down to B4. I'm picking up three medium-sized reaver bots in the room ahead of you. It looks like the doors are locked, too. Alright, so after this door, there's three reaver bots and oh my god, they're mammoths. Where are they? Now, as you can see, whenever I shoot them with my buster, it just reflects the damage, so we can't kill them. So we're gonna have to find another way to get rid of them. And oh my god, there's a hole in the ground. Oh my god. It looks them. like even if the reaver bots are defeated, the door still won't open. Interesting. So how are we supposed to get them open? There are three doors. Three holes in the floor. Three reaver bots. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So she's trying to give us a hint that we're gonna have to get the reaver bots in the holes to open the doors. So let's try Whoa! Oh! Hey! the doors open, Mega Man. I'm amazing. Alright, so if we didn't have our cleated shoes, we would be sliding all over the damn place. Why? Because there's ice everywhere. Which makes this a little bit trickier. But since we have our shoes, look, I, I can just stand in front of the door or the hole and just freaking Another roll out the way. Just open. And they will fall down. Alright, so that's two down, one more to go. Here's the hole. Now we gotta get the freaking reaver about to come over here. Come here, Mr. Elephant. I got peanuts. You, know, you, don't, you don't like peanuts? What about peanut butter? No? What about GIFs? No? Oh! Oh, he's smart! He dodged that! Look, he's like, ah, just stop! No, I don't want to be frozen there forever! Get over here! Help! And, of course, open got him! Alright, so, three river bots opened the three doors, so let's go through this one first. This is the purple door. Let's see what we got over here. Oh my god. Why did I go through here? So we got some freaking rabbits that freaking go under the ice somehow, some freaky reason they do that. We're gonna take care of them before we go to the next door. Oh. Okay, so that that's easy. Alright, so we, we get the money. Yum, 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 yum. Money, 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 money. Alright, let's continue on. Alright, so there's a chest. And it actually is a chest, like, as you can see on the map. And we get Turbo Charger... What is that? Omega? Uh, I'm not good with my symbols, you guys. <laughs> Anyways. That, just by the look of it, that right there, I think it gives you max turbo ability. Which is really nice, but, um, I don't really use energy. I'm more of an attack and range kind of person. And maybe speed. But we'll eventually try to do the best loadout for our thing. And oh my god, I saw data right there. No, you scared me. Get away. Let's check the other door. Because I think that one right there, the green door, is the one that's going to lead us to the boss's room. Alright, let's, let's do the last door, orange. And yes, we have over here another chest. And we get 50,000 zenny. Alright, so we checked out all the doors. So the next thing to do is go over there in the green door and talk to data. Look at the music. Bum, 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 bum. Something bad's gonna happen. Anyways, I think this is a good place to stop, guys. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Mega Man Legends 2. It's your host, Megasword, signing off.